All right, in this example, we're going to uh, graph the ellipse 1 minus y squared over 16 equals x squared. And basically what I'm going to do to uh, help myself graph this, first I'm going to kind of write it in the standard form, and then I think what I'll do is just find x and y intercepts, and again, just make a rough sketch. So the first thing I would do to both sides is add the y squared over 16 to, to, to each side. All right, so on the left side, we would just be left with 1. On the right side, we have, uh, well, I'll even write the y squared over 16. We've got a, a positive x squared over there, and I'm going to write that as x squared over 1. And again, you don't have to do this, but this to me, you know, this equation now, so I say, oh, that's definitely an ellipse. It looks a bit more familiar to me. So again, to find the uh, x-intercepts, we let y equals, uh, y equals 0. So if we plug in y equals 0, our first term will just be 0 squared over 16, which is 0. So we're left with x squared over 1, or just x squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, we'll simply get that x equals positive and negative 1. So to find the y-intercepts, we'll let x equals 0. And if we let x equal 0, well, in our equation, we'll have 1 equals y squared over 16 plus 0 squared over 1, so we'll just leave that term out. Multiply both sides by 16, that'll give us 16 equals y squared. And now if we take the square root of both sides, uh, we'll get positive and negative the square root of 16, which will be 4. And on the left side, we're just left with y. So, okay, now um, I think we've got a, enough to really do a decent little sketch. This is going to be an ellipse centered at the origin. So let's see, we said our x-intercepts were at positive 1 and at negative 1, and then the y-intercepts were at positive 4 and at negative 4. And now um, I'm just going to, you know, make it, try to make it look like an ellipse. So just kind of make it a little curvy there, a little curvy, and not a terrible ellipse. So... You know, you could always uh, you could always plot more points simply by picking more values, you know, for x and then going back and solving for y, you know, the same thing. Uh, so you could always find other points on the graph by doing that. But again, um, decent little rough sketch. To me, when I graph ellipses, this is kind of usually what I do. I just find x and y intercepts, especially if it's centered at the origin. And uh, usually that way, at least I have a, a decent intuitive idea as to what the graph will look like.